Hello ladies and gentlemen, ¿cómo están? I'm Loxosilis and today there's not gonna be any actual gameplay, but instead we're gonna take a look at the customization options we've got on XCOM 2. A little disclaimer before we start is that there this is going to include some mods that I've got installed and if you wanna know which of which mods we are seeing in in this uh, video you can always go to a link that it's gonna be that it is on a link in the description below and there you can see which mods uh, we are using I will try to mention which things are vanilla and which things are from a mod of course I, I'm not gonna remember exactly which is in which mod for most of the cases but when I do I will mention those and let you know so first of all let's create a random character uh, let's remove this one okay so we've got an empty character pool and let's create just one random character there we go so I thought that first of all we'll start with gender specific customizations so let's go ahead and start with female let's give her more of a clean haircut so so we can get a better look like that okay so let's start with the different races so we have four races available the first one is white or Caucasian the second one is African American the third one is Asian and the fourth one or race 3 is uh, I'm, I'm not exactly sure how, how what the name is but basically it's a uh, Southwest Asia or something like that Middle Eastern okay so those are the races we've got let's start with Caucasian or race 0 and these are the faces we've got available let me see I don't, there we go, I think that's a accurate angle we can take a look at. So we've got face A through F. There we go. For race one, again, uh, let's check all the faces we've got. For race two, and race three. Okay, and also for each race, we've got different skin tones. So where you can see from lighter to darker then we've got uh, for race one the same thing check out for race two and race 3 all right um, let me see other than that I think that we can okay we can move on to hair this is also gender specific so let me check Okay, let's see how we can do this, where we can see it better. We've got the bald haircut. We've got long straight, long straight bangs, long wavy, pixie cut, ponytail, bangs and a bun. Bun, let me show you the bun from behind. Foxhawk ponytail. Ponytail bangs, dirty ponytail, 
dirty ponytail with bangs, a loose bun, dirty bangs and a bun, dirty braid, braid, knitting needle bun, bob, shaved fox hawk, half shaved undercut, punk, close crop, basket fade, basket, flat top, afro, deadlocks, deadlocks ponytail, corn, cornrows, wild deadlocks, wild deadlocks ponytail, spiky mohawk, mohawk, biking, blowout. Then we've got the anarchy haircuts, which we have top knot fade, top knot, tall mohawk, tall mohawk fade, short mohawk striped, short mohawk, top braid with a little ball at the end, which obeys physics laws. There we go. Um, spikes, pigtails, which also obey physics laws. Pigtails fade, then we've got the avatar hair. Short punk, this is from, I think, I don't remember the name, but it's a mod that allow, gives us further hairstyles for females. Real punk, short cyberpunk, I don't like this one, but whatever. Pixie, Messy Bob, Scully, Meryl, Desert B, Desert Hollow, also I don't particularly enjoy these kind of things, but anyways. Surly Bass, Long Hair Bands, which looks great, although I I'm kind of dislike the fact that it goes through the armor, but whatever. Kansaki Beta. I... let's see, I didn't check how long it... whoa! That's quite long. We've got Arcade Riven. Hanako Ikesawa and oh Siri. I thought that was it, but no, we've got one more. Siri. Okay, and for each of these haircuts or hairstyles or whatever, we do have uh, different colors we can use. So where is it? Hair color. There we go. Let's check them out. nice and I think that's it when it comes to male specific uh, sorry uh, gender specific configure uh, customization and then let's check at the well her color was also not gender specific eye colors we've got a whole bunch of them as well go and what else do we have skin color well armor color again we've got a lot of them I'm not gonna go through all of them but you can get a sense of how they look and let's see what else do we have we've got also after the 69 which is the this white we have all these bright colors right and for the secondary armor color we've got different set so there you can check more or less how it looks and at the end we also have those bright ones okay so let's give them like black and white because we are gonna look uh, at the 
patterns and for that I think that having black and white will show them more clearly and let's get also a gray for the weapon color so we can see the patterns as well well actually let's give it a blue anyways um, what else do we have here let's check out the voices oh this this was gender specific okay we'll go we'll get back to well actually let's, let's finish up with all the gender specific things so we've got American English Roger that. Good to go. Stepping on. Affirmative. Got it. Moving. On the move. On it. Then we've got UK English. Let's scroll down a little bit. I'm all over it. No need to ask twice. Got it. Moving. No need to ask twice. Australian. Got it. Moving. Got it. I spoke over the voice, so I'm going to do it again. Move, move. Will do. French. Step back, D. C'est tout bon. Bien compris. Allez, allez, allez. Compris, j'y vais. J'y vais. D'accord. Allez, allez, allez. Je m'en occupe. Bien reçu, je bouge. Okay, we've got a whole bunch of German. Rückaus. Los geht's. Tempo. Bewegung, Bewegung. Wird gemacht. Tempo. Bin schon dabei. Schon dabei. Bin dabei. Okay. Italian. Io ci sono. Su, su, su. Okay. Corro. Vado. Io ci sono. Sono già lì. Vado. Scatto. Si può fare. Got Spanish. Eso haré. No hace falta repetirlo. A la orden. Enseguida. Allí voy. Aha, Sorry about that. Let's go again. Vamos, vamos. Aha, me muevo. Queda claro. Allá voy. Ya estoy. And we've got Jane Sh Shane Shepard. Sorry about that. Jane Shepard. Yes, sir. And Legion. Cooperation furthers mutual goals. Which is not gender specific, by the way. And. Uh, a little thing to know is that the voices the also depend a little bit about uh, on the attitude, so different attitudes say different things. And we have all these uh, seven attitudes, let's see, let's check them out. By the book, laid back, normal, twitchy, happy-go-lucky, hard luck, and intense. All right, so let's check out the the other gender specific attributes for male. Okay. So Okay, let's start with race 0. Let's see all the faces we've got available. A through F. Okay. Let's check out race 1. For race two, uh, nope. Here we go. Okay, and race three. All right, uh, the Skin colors are the same. Let's check out the the hairstyle. So let's see if we can do this more or less the same way we did before. There we go. Got bald, long curls, long layers, brushed up short, short, simple short, slick back ponytail, loose ponytail thick, Loose ponytail, slick back braid, loose braid, man bun, basket fade, basket, 
short curly, flat top, receding hair medium, receding hair short, parted, afro, dreadlocks, dreadlocks ponytail, cornrows, wild dreadlocks, wild red ponytail, spiky mohawk, mohawk, viking, blowout, and we've got the anarchy hairstyles, it's top not fade, I think these are the same as the female hairstyles. Top knot, tall mohawk, tall mohawk with fade, short mohawk striped, short mohawk, top braid, again, physics are fun. Spikes, pigtails, pigtails fade, avatar, and that's it. So, uh, what other things were we looking at that are gender specific? Okay, we've got facial hairs for males. Uh, we've got Nan, and we've got Goatee, Chin Curtain, let's see, there we can see it better, Goatee must Moustache, Thick Beard, Horseshoe Moustache, Moustache, Mutant Chops, Sideburns, Mutant Chops and Stash, Short Sideburns, Scruffy Beard, Sideburns and Goatee, 5 o'clock Shadow, that, let's Let's actually change the, the hair color for that because it's not really showing. Let's get a darker one, there we go. Okay. Five o'clock shadow, stubble goatee, short horseshoe mustache, mustache, stubble mutton chops, stubble sideburns, scrappy beard, and that's it. Let's see, what else can we see? Uh, facial hair, hair color, those are the same as the, as the females. Eye color, okay, the gray skin color. The armor colors are the same, weapon colors are the same. We didn't actually check all the weapon colors we have, but those are the same as for the, for the main armor color. And we've got a whole set of voices we can check. Let's start with American English. Rolling out. Move, move, move. Got it covered. Moving out. Rolling out. Move, move, move. Will do. Moving out. No need to ask twice. Location confirmed. Then we have British. Running. Move, move, move. No need to ask twice. Roger that. Australian. Affirmative. Roger that. French. German. Bin gleich da. Los geht's. Los geht's. Und ab geht's. Bewegung, Bewegung. Rück aus. Then we have Italian. Agli ordini. Via, via, via. Vado. Ci penso io. Corro. Sono già lì. Posizione confermata. Roger. Ok. Molto bene. Spanish. Voy a ello. Ya me ocupo. Voy a ello. Allá voy. En marcha. Enseguida. A la orden. Corriendo. Enseguida. Voy. And the voice pack we've got installed are Deadpool. Yeah, yeah, we hear you. Sean Shepard. Understood. Clone Trooper. Understood, General. And the Legion. Order received. Which is the same as Location the female. Confirmed. Okay, so I think that's everything when it comes to uh, gender specific attributes the attitudes are the same and all right so now we can check other things let's see okay we can move on to props let's get before well before that let's go to character info so we've got a first name, this case is Joan, 
well, because it was a female before. Last name, uh, nickname, biography, nationality, and the gender. Nationality, we can pick off all these. I'm not gonna read them all out loud, but I am gonna scroll it down. I do have a mod for extra countries. Okay. Then, uh, biography is just a text. And that's it. And before we move on to props, let's change the armor to black and white so we can see the patterns more clearly. And the weapon is already gray, so that's fine. So you can see, for instance, for this particular armor, the white uh, as a secondary is not really white. It goes more of a darker tone. But we will see those in the different armors we have. Okay, let's start with helmet or hat. There's a lot of them. So let's see the... First of all, let's see the avatar ones. The avatar, the, <laughs> the anarchy ones. We've got the swine helmet or kaiser helmet. Gas mask. Metal skull. Metal skull with horns. Metal skull with mohawk. Wielder's mask, space helmet, space helmet with feather mohawk, space mask, knight helm A and B, voodoo top hat A and B, tintable skull paint hockey mask, skull paint hockey mask. So the difference between these two, for instance, and like I think that the top hat, the voodoo top hat, is that one. This one takes the color of the armor, so in this case it's white because of the secondary color. And the B takes it's always black by default. And the same for okay, let's go back. For the skull paint hockey mask. Tintable hockey mask, goggles on eyes, goggles on forehead, spider mask, Muscle with glowing visor, muscle with goggles on eyes, muscle with goggles on forehead, muscle, aviator helmet, aviator helmet, helmet with goggle eyes, aviator helmet with goggles on forehead, and Andre. And all of these are the same regardless of the gender. We also have got from the Advent Armor mod, we've got Advent Captain, Advent Stun Lancer, Shield Bearer, Trooper, Avatar, and Andromeda. Alright, then we've got Floppy Bonnie, Long Hood, Sky Mask, Field Barret. The thing about having white as a secondary armor color, it makes them glow, but they don't really glow with all colors. Let's just check it out. For instance, Field Barret. It's glowing there, but if we choose another color, it looks much better. So just something to consider. Anyways, let's keep on checking them. Uh, we were in Field Barret, Dress Barret, Balaclava, Gas Mask, Kevlar 1, Kevlar 1 with Balaclava, Kevlar 1, Gas Mask, Kevlar 2, Kevlar 3, Warden 1, Warden 2, Headset Ball Cap, Headset Backwards Ball, ball Cap, Headset Balaclava, Ballistic Goggles, Night Vision Goggles. Then from the Again, the, the advent. Well, this is. Yeah, this is. These are more from the advent armors. We've got trooper, lancer, captain, and shield bearer. Then we've got ball cap, ball, backwards ball cap, bandana, headband, bunny hat, beanie, dress hat, recon, uh, recon hood, shimag scarf. I really know how to say that. Delta 1, Delta 2, Delta 3, and Delta 4. We've got Hockey Mask. We've got uh, MH1 Komodo Helmet. These are uh, actually, this is from a mod that it's moddable helmets. I think it's the name. So we'll, we'll check them out, but the thing is that they look great when you combine them with like a upper face prop from the same mod like this and lower face prop from the same mod 
So you will have to use your imagination in order to figure out how they all will look together because trying all those combinations would take forever. Anyways, we were on MH1 Komodo. Let's go find it. Okay, the other way around would have been faster, but never mind. There we go. So, actually, before we do so, let me strip the. Okay, let's go to props and let's strip the upper and lower face props so we can check just the top half. Um, helmet, here we go. There we go. So we've got MH1 Komodo helmet, Decimator helmet, Gila helmet, Gila tactical helmet, Gila tactical headgear, Elephant helmet, Spectre helmet, and tactical screens. Then we've got Kevlar helmet, XCOM Hyperion helmet, XCOM Fedora, Carap Carapace, Helmet, Carapace 1, Carapace 2, Atmospheric Helmet, Open Helmet, Heavy Carapace Helmet, Reaper Helmet, Reaper A Helmet, Titan 1 Helmet, Titan 2, Titan 3, Titan 4, Psy Helmet, Psy Skull Helmet, and then we've got IMC Captain, IMC Pilot A, Pilot B, IMC Helmet with Headset, IMC Helmet, M Core Pilot A, M Core Pilot B, Closed M Core Helmet, M Core Helmet, Open, Marksman Green, Marksman Tan, Marksman White, and that's it. Okay, let's move on to. Let's do the props first and then we'll check out the torso, legs, and arms. So for the upper face props we've got let me let me remove the helmet first. Okay, we've got none and then we've got aviators, sports sunglasses, dark sunglasses, hippie sunglasses, half framed glasses, thick rimmed glasses, hippie glasses, monocle, eyebrow ring, earring, lip ring nose ring, nose stud, ballistic goggles, clear ballistic goggles, night vision goggles, the avatar mask, white avatar mask, avatar mask without camo, white avatar mask without camo, captain cape which only works with with the advent chest, um, eye patch, hockey mask, gas mask, sky mask, uh, Komodo visor, Komodo visor off, decimator visor, decimator visor off, expanded visor, armored visor, expanded visor B, tactical headgear, visor, visor black face, elephant visor, extended visor, and armored visor. These all look great, however, with the top and bottom half as well. Anyway, specter visor. Specter visor plated, tactical headset, UV visor, dual UV visors, uh, PEQ, MHT lamp, lamps, PEQ plus lamp, tactical screens, and that's it. Then for the lower prop, we've got XCOM bandana, skull bandana, biker bandana, stripped bandana, striped bandana that is, samurai mask A, samurai mask B, mutant mask, tag mask, avatar mask, white avatar mask, these are the same as we saw before, we've got cigarette, cigar, eyebrow ring, earring, lip ring, nose stud, all those we saw before, balaclava the same, these are also here because you might Balaclava was with head and helmets, like, and you want to put like a, for instance, maybe a bunny hat and the balaclava, you can do so by using the balaclava from, from here instead of the hat, uh, hat or helmet section. Anyway, sky mask, then we've got, uh, let's go, Komodo mask, lightweight mask, decimator mask, 
Gila Mask, Elephant Mask, Elephant Mask with Heavy Breather, Elephant Lightweight Mask, Spectre Mask, PEQ Lamp, Lamps, PEQ Plus Lamp, these, these are also the same as the ones we saw before. Then we've got patterns, we've got... Let me see if I can get a different, uh, like a conventional armor before showing off the patterns. So for torso, let's go with like something more conventional. Let's go with all by default. And legs, the same. So we can check out now the patterns. There's a lot of them, so I will go through uh, one by one, but I'm not gonna say which, how they're called, because it will take forever. By the way, this also affects some of the hats and helmets and stuff like that, or even, I think, some of the upper face props as well. So you can see there's quite a lot of them. Okay. Let's keep the classic one for now, so when we check the different armors, you will see where they impact and how. Um, for weapon patterns, we've got the same. I'm, I'm gonna go through them like just like that, so, so you can see more or less how they apply, but the, the, the selection is the same as the ones for the armor. So let's check out torsos. We've got a whole bunch of them. Um, okay, let, let, let's check them and I, I go into details later on. Actually, before we do so, I usually find that the best way to look at it is with a laid back attitude, or you can see it better. Okay, that's it. Uh, let's pick this one for now. Because uh, the thing is that, for instance, uh, sorry, wait, not that. Um, if you go with, let's see, with an anarchy torso, so let's say this one, then you cannot select arms. That's something that you need to be aware of. You need to independently select each left, right, arms and shoulders. So anyways, let's go back to a regular one so we can see the, the arms we've got. Okay, this one looks great. <laughs> Not sure what is this, ab this is about, but anyways. Okay, uh, let's see. Maybe it's for a torso that. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know what's that about. Maybe we select like this torso. Let's see, 18. And then for arms, we go with that one. No, still not working. Um, that looks super creepy. Maybe we need to do this. Oh yeah, there we go. So for this set, we need to do like independent arms, left and right. So we'll check them out. We'll check those later. Let's go back to a default torso. That's kind of something that I really don't enjoy much because what's gonna happen is the random characters will already come like without arms or stuff like that. Or maybe when they change to plated, that sort of thing happens and I really bugs me quite a bit, but anyways, let's keep them because they do look super cool. Anyways, we already saw the arms we've got, let's check the legs. Okay. So as you can probably see, some of them like kind of don't go together. So if you pick uh, like a leg from with this uh, icon, you should kind of pick a torso with the same kind of icons, stuff like that. And these are actually gender specific, the torso and the legs. So after we are finished with this, let's check the female options as well. Now let's get, uh, I don't know, an anarchy like this one and we'll check the different options for left and right arms which are also available if you select a different uh, torso so for instance if you select, select like the default one you can also customize left, right, left shoulder and right arm but anyways let's check it out with a leather jacket we've got and I'm only gonna check left, rights are the same so we got bear with nothing, ammo gauntlet, knuckle duster, leather strap and spiked gauntlet. And for the shoulder we've got nothing, pauldron, spiked pauldron, shoulder pad with feathers and shoulder pad with pauldron. Alright, and I'll, I'll be back in a second. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, anyways, for let's check the these. Are, I think that, that they are from Titanfall mod. Uh, I'm not sure. So, anyways, let's just pick one, and we'll check uh, left arm. Oh, okay. First, we have to pick the arms, 13, and then we can check like this. Okay, so we've got the. Anarchy ones, and then we've got these ones. Let's check them out. This is kind of like a robotic arm. This, ah, it changes the color. Okay, and this base Kevlar, I guess it would go with the torso base Kevlar, something like that. With these torsos, let's check it out. Yeah, it seems like it. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Well, anyways, um, let's see if there's. Let's get back to one of these. Okay, with one of these, and let's see if we've got anything else for the shoulders. No. These are for the Kevlar. So let's check it out again, the Kevlar. Thing. Okay, my bad. Let's see the 
base Kevlar and we can select Kevlar kit Deco it also adds pants to the pants as well anyways these are the options we've got and let's see what else I think that's it so let's move on to the face paint we've got we have a whole bunch of them so let's start with nothing then we've got well I'm not gonna read them out loud I'm just gonna cycle through them and you can check them out This one is from this side. The first one was only on this side, the other one is on both. And that's it. Alright, uh, then we've got tattoos. So for that, let's get something that leaves us with a bare arm. Okay, so this way we can check them better. You can pick a tattoo color, which is the same for us as the colors we've got for armor. Let's get a kind of dark one so we can see them better. And we only check we will only check left tattoos, but the same ones are on for the right arm. Keep your arm down, that would be great. Okay, let's wait until he lowers his arm again. There we go. We've got some really cool ones. Okay, let's wait once more. There we go. there he goes again and we just cycled through half of them so yeah there are a lot of options here So one thing to consider is that they are mirrored on the other side. So if you, for instance, pick Doom for the left tattoo, it says Mood or something like that. But I, I'm not sure if that's for all of them, actually. So just let, let check that out. If we find it, there are a whole bunch of... See, it says... Mm. which is also cool don't get me wrong anyways uh, let's keep on checking the left arms tattoo okay we need to scroll back all the way to the doom somewhere there we go let's wait for him that's it
These ones actually I'm checking them out for the first time and they look really cool. Really cool. And that's it. Oh man, that's those last couple of ones. I, I I went slower because it was the first time I saw them. So okay, and I think that we're almost done. We've got scars to see. Some of them are kind of hard to see, but we'll check. I'll try to show the best I can. That's it. Okay, it's that below there. This one's creepy as hell. Okay, and the scarves are the same for female characters as well, the tattoos as well, so yeah, I think this is it. So let's go back and check the torso and arms options for female characters. Okay, here we go. Let's this time let's give them let's give a not that let's get the ammo the armor with a pattern so we see how that impacts let's go with classic and let's check torsos So if you can see here, like uh, the ones that have this icon, these are Anarchy from the Anarchy set and they can only go with other arms and legs from the Anarchy set. So that's when we went from 3 to 4, the pants uh, switched automatically. The same thing goes for male torsos. Okay, so let's pick the default one and let's check the arms we've got. I am gonna change the legs because it kind of breaks the whole thing with those short shorts. Uh, there they are. Okay. Right. Um, let's check the legs. All right, and um, let's pick an anarchy torso to show off the different arms. 
so let's go again just with left well these these are the same as the the male options actually and left shoulder yeah the same thing let me check if we select the one of these if we have other options as well yeah we've got the base kevlar arm and i guess we're gonna get yeah the kevlar kit all right so i think that's actually it let, let me check again just in case but this is i think it's all we've got yeah those are all the options we've got it's been quite a long video but if you want to create your own characters for for my campaign or someone else's campaign this is all the information that you have to need to provide and hopefully someone else can create those characters for you uh, and they would look sweet anyways uh, that's all for today see you soon and remember things twice before killing a spider. Bye-bye.